Hey everyone, my name is Baraj Gill and today I would like to talk a little bit about death, dying, grief and how I handled grief with uh, my son after my husband passed away, uh, which was 12 years ago, I think. Um, so, okay, so here is what, um, what I did after my husband passed away. For me, it was really important for my son to still know his dad. Therefore, as hard as it was um, in the beginning, and sometimes it was exhausting, because my son was only three, but I made sure that my husband's memories and the things that he would do or say, his pictures, all of that kind of stuff, was always in the house. I still spoke about him. I didn't just go mute and go quiet about, um, sorry, I'm sniffling because I just did a vlog and I was like bawling my eyes out. But anyway, so I made sure that his memory was kept alive by just talking about him. Until this day, I still talk about him. We, I still tell him stories. Um, when we go to the market, I'll just be like, oh my God, your dad loved like juices or in the summer, he would buy these huge 24 packs of like, um, what are they called? Ice cream, those just regular juice ice creams or, uh, popsicles. He would buy a 24 pack and he would be, he would go through those in two days in the summer. Just constantly be in the freezer constantly. And now it's crazy because my son is, he wants to pick up on those things that his dad did. He feels more connected to his father because he's like drinking, let's say real Coke and not diet Coke because his dad was a die hard Coke drinker, like die hard. And now Armand prefers to drink like Coke over diet Coke, but it gives him and in the summer, same thing, he'll buy, I'll buy him like popsicles so he can just keep, I don't care if he eats the box in a day, like I just don't care because I know it's more than just eating that pop, popsicle. It is for him connection. He feels more connected with his dad because he's doing the same things that his dad used to do. So yeah, that's it. I just, as I know it's, I know it can be so very difficult, so just follow, feel true to yourself too. Give yourself that respect to, if you don't feel like talking about somebody that day, then don't. Um, but in the long run, it is so important to have open conversations with your kids about people that have died. I mean, so many times I've been in a room and when I do bring Sarb up, because I'm very comfortable with doing that. I feel like he hasn't died. I'm at that point now where I actually communicate with him. If I'm having a really hard day or a really hard time, and not just hard times, if I'm having like a really good day, <coughs> he will come into my mind's eye and I know it's him and we will like, we'll communicate. It's, it's amazing. So to me now, it took me years and years and years of grieving to get here, but he's still around me. I feel his energy, it's love, it's healing. He has hugged me and he's told me. Um, how good of a, oh, I always have a hard time doing these. Whew, excuse me. I always have a hard time doing these widow vlogs because it's just feels so fresh still when you talk about it. So, so in my mind, he has come to me just in the last like few months even and told me how good of a mom I am and how he appreciates what I've done and kept his memory alive. Yeah. So, it just takes time. Oh, pardon me, I'm so sorry. It just takes time, but that is the one thing that I just wanted to say in this vlog is that uh, 
it is so important to talk about them. It's not easy, but it's important. And it makes a difference, and I'm telling you, just from having, being connected to the other side, being connected with energy and feeling it, they appreciate it too. They can hear you all the time. And that's it. I was guided actually to do this vlog. Um, I don't like doing these widow vlogs. I've put this vlog up, out, like I, I put it off for, for many, many days because of this, because I still can't handle my shit when it comes to just talking about him. And I'm not crying because you know, I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm happy to share this. I I still feel the loss. I, I feel the love, but I still feel the emptiness. And I still, after 12 years, feel the loss. So, so I hate talking about stuff like this, but I, I was guided to do this blog. And when I say guided, thoughts are pushed into my mind. It's not even like I woke... I, I don't know what I was doing. And when I say pushed into my mind, I mean like... It wasn't my thought. I, when I know it's not my thought, I know I have to talk about this because it, somebody out there needs it. Somebody needs to hear this. And even though I, it makes me uncomfortable, I had to do it. I had to. So anyways, I hope that helps somebody. And I apologize for getting upset. But yeah, I'm going to try and do more vlogs because about death and dying, I think it's, I think it's important. And I will. I just need to, if you guys can, if you guys are okay with me losing my shit, I'm very embarrassed about it right now. But if you guys are okay with it, then, then I'll do more. I just have to get over this oh, crying part. But love you guys. Bye.